Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Centennial Conference Corner. My name is Amber Thomas, and I'm virtually alongside Ryan McTamney, former men's or sinus basketball player and victory scholar. How are you doing today, Ryan? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so I first want to congratulate you on becoming a Victory Scholar. Can you tell us how life in Ireland is going and a little bit more about the program? Yeah, of course. Um, so everything's been good so far. Um, definitely a little bit different because of COVID. Um, there's been obviously some restrictions, um, but I guess, you know, that's kind of the, the new norm right now. Um, but yeah, everything's been good. Um, started to practice with um, my club. Um, started my online classes, um, which has been cool. Um, and was able to get out a little bit and experience um, some of the things in Donegal. I was able to witness um, a lighthouse, um, which was a very beautiful scene, and also a national park, which had a lot of cool um, scenic scenes, and um, it was nice. So, Yeah. So can you take us back to when you were making your decision on your next steps? What made you pick the Victory Scholar program? So to start off, um, I first was told about this through my uh, assistant coach. Um, he kind of sent me um, the website and um, I kind of was scrolling through it. And a lot of the things that um, they did um, was a lot of things that I always held true. So um, being able to get an opportunity to one, obviously continue to play basketball, which has been the game that I love since I've been, you know, very young. Um, two, to continue academics, which has always been something very important to me. Um, but three, um, it also gives me a chance to be a mentor within the community um, and kind of build the aspirations of the younger kids. Um, so definitely was a no-brainer. Yeah, sounds like an amazing opportunity. Uh, so I know you're only about like a month into life in Ireland and the program, uh, but can you tell us a little bit about what your future plans are? Yeah, so that's kind of like what this whole year for me is. Um, I'm trying to kind of find my own path, I guess you can say. So um, whether that be continue to play um, overseas or um, continue to maybe go back to school, um, whether that be through physical therapy um, or even if I really want to push myself, try to um, go farther and um, do medical school. But um, I guess kind of that's what this year is kind of for, to kind of reflect and think about what I really want to do um, and kind of what my next step is after this. It's always nice to have a plan, but also enjoy yeah. it right now, right? right. <laughs> so switching over a little bit to what is my favorite segment is we're going to do a couple of rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So the first one is what is your favorite sports figure? And like, who do you admire the most? Um, definitely Kevin Durant, I'd say. Uh, I've always looked up to him. Uh, you know, he's a good scorer. I love to score the ball. I love the offense. I love offense. So he's always been a guy I've always looked up to. I know you're a big basketball guy, but what is your favorite sports movie? Ooh, sports movie? Um, so I've always been, so I've always been two sport, baseball and basketball. So I, I don't know if it's a basketball movie, but I've always enjoyed, uh, um, Benchwarmers. I've always been a comedy guy. Yeah, that's a good so one. So I've always enjoyed comedy movies. So the Benchwarmers has just always been a movie I've always watched when I was younger. Um, and I've always enjoyed and always got a, got a good laugh out of it. So, Favorite sports team? Oh, um, by far. So I'm a Philly sports guy. So I think that out of all the Philly sports, I'm definitely more like the loyals to um, – Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles. I know right now we're struggling, but um, <laughs> definitely the Eagles, I would say. For okay. sure. And there's a lot riding on this last one. Favorite athletic conference? Oh, Centennial. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> I want to thank you. There's no other answer. 
<laughs> of course, always the centennial, right? <laughs> I want to thank you, Ryan, for taking time out of your day all the way in Ireland. Uh, you guys can catch us every single week at centennialconference.org or Centennial Comp on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until next time, see you later.